friends of a cardiologist killed on Paris Pike this weekend talk to us about his life and legacy. We're tracking the search for a bank robber, what he did after first trying to steal from a customer when he entered the bank. It's the busy season at the Kentucky Wildlife Center. Coming up, find out what you can do to help wild animals like these. This is WKYT News at 5. Good afternoon to you. Friends are sharing their memories of a doctor killed while riding his bicycle this weekend. A car hit and killed Lexington cardiologist David Cassidy on Paris Pike in Bourbon County. It's the second time in less than a year that Cassidy's fellow riders have confronted a loss of a friend. WKYT's Kristen Kennedy shows us how he's being remembered in our top story at 5. Dr. David Cassidy was a cardiologist in town. Friends told us he loved cycling. David was just a great guy. He was always in a great mood. He was always smiling and happy and Quite honestly, I, I felt like he knew the state of Kentucky better than anybody. Dolores Hall biked with Cassidy as part of an informal group called the Zombie Cycling Club. She said on many rides, Cassidy would lead them through windy, unknown parts of the bluegrass. He was a devoted friend who helped honor fellow cyclist Mark Hinkle. Hinkle died last year when police say a drunk driver hit him during a ride in Scott County. Hinkle's widow, Mary Lynn, released a statement Monday saying, We are saddened and devastated to learn of David's passing. David was a great friend to Mark and has been a great friend to my family this past year. Our hearts are with his family and friends, as well as the cycling team who have lost two close friends within the year. When Mark passed away, of course, uh, it shocked all of us, and now just 11 months later, we're, we're faced with it again. Ben Cowan was a fellow cyclist and neighbor. David was a uh, very energetic, uh, very caring about his family and neighbors. Funeral arrangements for Cassidy are still pending. In Lexington, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. Dr. Cassidy joined the medical staff at St. Joseph Hospital back in 1990. Kentucky One Health released a statement about him saying, in part, his bedside manner was exceptional, valuing his, valuing his patients as if his own family. Police have been searching for a man who robbed a bank this morning. That robbery happened just after 9.30 at the Fifth Third Bank on Bryan Station Road. As WKYT's Victor Puente shows us, the robber tried to steal from a customer before hopping over the counter to get cash. The Fifth Third Bank here on Bryan Station Road is back open after being robbed this morning. Lexington police say the man who committed that crime may have tried to get into another bank before coming here. Police say the robber came into the Fifth Third Bank on Bryan Station Road at 9.39 this morning. They say he first went to a customer and tried to pull a deposit bag from that man's hand. He attempted to. He, didn't, he wasn't successful in taking the bank bag, but then after he was unsuccessful in taking the customer's money, he jumped the counter and committed a theft of cash from the uh, bank. The robber jumped the counter and demanded money from a teller. He got some cash and ran to a parking lot where he got into a green SUV. Police say he then drove toward Old Paris Pike and they're searching for that vehicle. Witnesses told police he never showed a weapon but implied he had one. They say he was wearing a hoodie, dark jeans, and his face was covered. This wasn't the first call to a bank police had this morning. About half an hour before this robbery, Lexington police were called to the People's Exchange Bank on Richmond Road because a man in a mask tried to open the front door, but the bank wasn't open yet. Witnesses say he pulled so hard he broke the door handle. Lexington police say they're investigating if there's a connection. Police say they don't have a license plate number for that green SUV, but it's possible there was a handicap placard hanging in that vehicle. They hope that information can lead them to this robber. In Lexington, Victor Puente, WKYT. Lexington police say they have surveillance video from inside the bank that they're looking at. Man accused of killing a dog pled not guilty this afternoon. Michael Hawkins was arraigned in Fayette District Court. Police say he threw a dog in a small decorative pond at a home on Whitfield Drive yesterday before hitting it with a broom repeatedly. A judge gave him a $2,500 bond and set his next hearing for April 25th. Police are asking for help to find two people accused of cashing fake checks. Say police say these two men cashed the checks at Kentucky Bank locations in Fayette and Scott counties. We're told someone created the checks using the name of a Harrison County business. A fight ended with one man shot and another in jail. Our county by county coverage begins in Harrison County. State police arrested Gregory Kearns after being called to a home on Windy Ridge Lane on Saturday. 
Police say they found Thomas Cantor with a gunshot wound to the hip. He was taken to a UK hospital. Kearns is charged with assault. And in Breathitt County, a tree service worker died in an accident while on the job. It happened on Highway 110 in the Wick community. State police have identified the man as 23 year old Justin Miller. He worked for a tree expert company. The coroner says it appears he was electrocuted, but an autopsy will be done to determine his exact cause of death. If you enjoyed today's weather, there's more to come. The sun and warm temperatures are continuing tomorrow. WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey is here now with your forecast. Hi, Chris. Hi, Amber. Looking absolutely gorgeous out there today. A little taste of summertime in the bluegrass. Most thermometers low and mid 80s out there, and coming with a mainly blue sky, a little bit of high thin ice crystal clouds that aren't going to create any problems at all. 83 Lexington humidity. 21%. That's about as low as you are ever going to see around here. We're getting reports of humidity levels in some areas in the teens right now. That is straight out of the desert and out of the west. 83 21. Don't see that combination uh, very much around here. 80 to 85. It's 85 into Prestonsburg and Ashland. 82 Somerset. Hello, London and Harlan. 84 85 for the good folks in the Middlesboro. Middle 80s. That a normal high for late June and into the first part of July. Now, if you're out this evening, as we get closer to sundown, we'll be into the upper 70s. Shortly thereafter, low 70s, upper 60s by around 11 o'clock under a partly cloudy sky. Big area of low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere across the Rockies. That's a big snowmaker into Colorado. We're not worried about that, but look at the showers out ahead of that system. That'll roll our way second half of the week with showers and thunderstorms set to increase. And when I come back in a matter of minutes, Guys, a brand new hour by hour forecast is in. It will time at least the chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. All right, we'll see you in just a bit, Chris. Thank you. More American troops are headed to Iraq. It is the first increase of U.S. forces in almost a year. And as Craig Boswell shows us, this time it places them much closer to the front lines in the fight against ISIS. Defense Secretary Ash Carter says more than 200 U.S. troops are deploying to Iraq, boosting U.S. forces to more than 4,000. Now down to brigade and battalion headquarters. Important. Typically, Americans have stuck to larger division headquarters and will now be closer to the front lines, advising and training Iraqi units. The U.S. will also provide more firepower. We're going to make available attack helicopters in support of the ISF's ongoing efforts to envelop and then retake Mosul. Mosul is Iraq's second largest city and has been under ISIS control for almost two years. The announcement comes just two days before President Obama meets with Arab leaders in Saudi Arabia about counterterrorism, ballistic missile defense, and the fight against ISIS. What the United States has sought to do at every turn is to support. Uh, our partners in Iraq uh, as they implement a political strategy to unite the country. Does it sound like mission creep to you? Slightly, yes. Chris Wood served in Iraq in 2004 and 2005. At what point does it really stop? What, I mean, what's to stop the president from saying, well, we need to send 500 more? The U.S. will also provide $415 million to Kurdish forces also fighting ISIS. Craig Boswell, CBS News, The White House. Carter made a surprise trip to Iraq today where he announced the news. He also met with Iraqi leaders in Baghdad about the next steps to beef up Iraqi forces. Voters in New York head to the polls tomorrow for their presidential primary. Frontrunners Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton have lost several contests recently, but they're hoping their hometown ties will result in big wins. Both have a double-digit lead in the Empire State. The next round of voting is April 26th when five states hold primaries. It is that time of year where more of nature's four-legged creatures need some extra care. That's right, and many of them end up at the Kentucky Wildlife Center, which is asking for your help with the influx of animals. Our Mike Byers shows us the center can use your time, your money, or just a few special items. The story is new here at 5. The phones are ringing off the hook at the Kentucky Wildlife Center on Leestown Road. Sure, well, we can absolutely help you with that. Where the center's director, Jennifer Crable, says with the warm weather, people are finding more wild animals who are in need of help. They start mowing their yards, trimming the trees, and they find the orphan babies or a tree is cut down and the nest is destroyed. 
That's where Crable comes in. She and other employees are working countless hours taking care of more than 60 animals, ranging from coyotes to weak old raccoons. We specialize in mammals and specifically in raccoon, but we take in everything in this area and we triage it, we, we stabilize it, we provide it supportive care that it needs. In order to give these animals that help, Crable says they need our help. Not only do they need more volunteers, they also need money and items like blankets and things we would never guess. We use the toddler toys, baby toys. The animals um, really need that for the mental stimulation while they're being raised. It keeps them happy and keeps them growing. Although these little ones are in good hands, Cravel says other wild animals may not get a second shot at life if we don't do our part. So you want to keep the baby warm in a dark place and to keep it safe away from other predators and then to give us a call right away. In Lexington, Mike Byer, WKYT. And the Wildlife Center is having a baby shower from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Saturday. It's at the Masterson Station Park Shelter Number no. 1. We'll have a list of needed items on WKYT.com. Heavy rain leads to hundreds of water rescues in Texas. We'll show you how one news crew ended up helping in that effort. Genetic testing can help some breast cancer patients safely avoid chemotherapy. We'll show you how it works in better living. Kentucky hospitals are intentionally getting unborn babies hooked on a narcotic. While that may sound bad, it's actually being seen as a success, considering the alternative, babies and drug withdrawal, tonight at 6 on WKYT. Spring is here. It's time for our April Show You the Savings event at Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond. Now you can save $10,000 on a new Sierra SLE 4x4. Save five grand on a new GMC Terrain, now in just $23,120. Get a new Sierra Double Cab for $28,645. Or save $6,000 on a new GMC Acadia. Plus, get the Adams Advantage, a limited lifetime powertrain warranty. It's our April Show You the Savings event, only at Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond, where... See it says sell them. Tired of painting? Go Rhino, and you'll never have to paint again. Now you can have the guaranteed protection of Rhino Shield for brick, stucco, wood, or aluminum. And Rhino Shield won't chip, crack, flake, or peel for home or business. Don't paint, don't vinyl. Go Rhino. Don't paint, don't vinyl. Go Rhino Shield. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield. I love Spain. This food, the wine, the tapas. I want to stay here forever. Well, we're not in Spain. We're home. I know, but this food is so delicious. And it's like a Spain-cation. Head to Kroger for authentic recipes, specially imported foods, and delicious meal ideas at the Taste of Spain event. Cook up fresh Purdue boneless chicken breasts for just $1.99 a pound. And sweet red, yellow, or orange bell peppers are now 10 for $10 at Kroger. Step right up for something fun. For just a buck, the excitement's begun. The game's called Kino, and you can play it in an alley. Or you can play it with your best friend, Sally. You can play it here or there. You could play it almost anywhere. Play with many numbers or just a few. How you play is all up to you. You can put down a little or put down a lot. So what do you say? Give Kino a shot. Just pick your numbers and hope you win, and a few minutes later, you can play it again. Now you can play Kino wherever Kentucky Lottery games are sold. Fueling imagination, funding education. Make time this spring to escape to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where the only thing you'll want to do is have fun in the sun. Let the sound of the ocean's tide take all your cares away and leave you refreshed to experience something new. It's your moment to let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach time. Let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach time. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. WKYT. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Absolutely gorgeous yet again today. You're enjoying June, aren't you? Well, it's only mid-April, but uh, it's doing its best June impersonation out there. Look at our live sky cams from across the Bluegrass State. Everybody with a little sunshine out there. Though notice on that Louisville cam, the sky is getting a little milky now as we look toward the west, and that's a sign of some changes coming down the road later this week. But sky cams across the entire area, excellent. Low and mid-80s. 83 Lexington, Frankfurt, hello Richmond at 82, 85 into Prestonsburg 
and Ashland. Low and mid 80s, most of central and eastern Kentucky. Don't see that too often around here, especially uh, it snowed around here seven, eight days ago. All right, and now we're up into the middle 80s. You gotta love Kentucky weather. We call it job security around here. We look at our Defender Radar Network, nothing going on. Though look at those little streamers of clouds that are coming in from the tops of some showers and thunderstorms out to the west. Those little wispy clouds that you're going to be noticing out there this evening are ice crystal clouds. Those should give you a fiery sunset into the region. And eventually, we will see those clouds producing some rain as this cold front rolls its way slowly toward the area. It doesn't arrive in here with some showers and storms until the second half of our Wednesday. You know what that means for your Tuesday? It is another Great looking weather day. I think we hit 80 to 85 again tomorrow afternoon into many areas. Out and about on your Tuesday evening, looking good. Mid to upper 50s to start out the day on Wednesday. Wednesday is going to have a little more in the way of some humidity into the afternoon. That's not going to take a whole lot because we're bone dry right now with humidity levels. Again, near 80 degrees. Chance for a late day shower or thunderstorm. Best chance with all that will likely hold off until we get into the day on Thursday. Watch the showers and the thunderstorms that will be making their way across the area. And Thursday is one of those days where it's not going to rain all day. You're going to have some at least scattered showers and thunderstorms. You get a little sunshine. You're going to boost those temperatures up deep into the 70s. Though areas that get under a little shower or thunderstorm are going to be cooler than everybody else. So it's going to be one of those days to where uh, the numbers aren't going to play out across the entire board. Looking at rainfall numbers, these numbers on this particular model dropped dramatically from the model I was just showing you a few minutes ago with an update. When I see such a big difference from one model uh, to another run in a short amount of time, you got to question that latest run. 79 on Wednesday, 70 to 75 Thursday. We'll knock it down a few degrees for Friday, only into the mid 60s, and then we bounce it back up 75 to 80 for the second weekend in a row of nice weather. Pattern those going to turn stormy as we go into next week. But what a weekend. Another beautiful weekend and coming gonna, up. We're going to try to go for two for two. Mm -hmm. And a week ago, it was snowing. All right? Really? So, Let's not talk about that back then. It's all in the past no. now. Straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Bad word. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, we cleared the crash outbound Richmond Road at the circle. So all lanes are open. It's still a little slow down from the water company out of the circle. That's about it. No major issues on the circle itself. The Van War looks decent for rush hour. Drive time this afternoon to Nicholasville, 12 to 15 minutes, seem to be holding. Uh, outbound toward Mount Stoning, 64 from Lexington, looks okay. And to Richmond across the Claysbury Bridge, 28 minutes or so. Now back to you in the studio. A plan to save millions of people from deportation goes to, US, to the U.S. Supreme Court. We'll have more on today's arguments. A babysitter accused of abusing a baby in her care heads back to court. We have an update on the case and the young girl's condition on WKYT News at 530. Kentucky hospitals are intentionally getting unborn babies hooked on a narcotic. While that may sound bad, it's actually being seen as a success, considering the alternative, babies and drug withdrawal, tonight at 6 on WKYT. If you've been injured in an accident, your injuries can last a long time even a lifetime. Visit ForThePeople.com. Morgan & Morgan. For the people. Kentucky Lottery's Kino, the exciting way to have fun with your friends every five minutes. Fueling imagination. Funding education. Steak? I thought we were on a budget. I can't eat another fish stick. I hear you. How about a vacation? I thought we were on a budget. If we book on Allegiant, we can totally afford it. The sun, the surf, we all deserve a break. Listen to your wallet. Kids all set? Yeah. What should I order? It's so beautiful here. I love the sun. The weather is perfect. My tan looks amazing. Ready to eat? Listen to your wallet and visit Allegiant.com now. I'm Amy Henson. My husband and I founded Rock Bottom Soaps. We use goat milk to make soaps and lotions that help dry, irritated skin. We're members of Appalachian Proud, part of the Kentucky Proud program which helps local families just like ours. Look for Kentucky Proud products available every day at Kroger. Right now at Kroger, Ale 8 is three for $10 when you buy three. And Kroger Sour Cream or Dip is two for $4. Great food, low prices at Kroger. 
It's not about the distance you have to go. It's about the drive that gets you there. It's what makes us Kentucky strong, independent, and proud. Giving it your best 100% every day because that's what it takes. When it comes to getting things done, nothing outperforms, outworks, or outshines Ford F-Series trucks from Paul Miller. 39 years and still the leader. Ford F-150 from Paul Miller. Big Blue Nation's destination. United we stand, Kentucky strong. Ford trucks and Paul Miller. Brymar Electric, proven electrical contractors now making house calls. Kentucky's 40th Annual Shriners Hillbilly Days Festival, April 22nd through 24th in Pikeville, Kentucky. Three live stages of music, carnival rides, 300 vendors, a car show on Saturday, and the Shriners Parade on Sunday. The 40th Annual Hillbilly Days Festival, April 22nd through 24th in Pikeville, Kentucky. Hi, I'm Brian. I buy houses in the Lexington area. No more stress. I can buy your house as is and we'll close professionally with a Lexington attorney. You can get all cash, debt relief, and peace of mind. Call me at 859-278-HELP or go to 278HELP.com. When severe storms roll in, we go to work to keep you and your family safe with continuous coverage on air, on WKYT.com, and wherever you are with our news and weather apps. First alert severe weather days only on WKYT. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. Here's a look at some of the most viewed stories on our website right now. People want to know more about a Lexington doctor killed when a car hit his bicycle during a weekend ride, the sudden cancellation of Cat Williams' concert at the KFC Yum Center, and forest fires in eastern Kentucky. You can find those stories and more on WKYT.com. The Supreme Court heard arguments today on President Obama's immigration programs. His administration is asking justices to allow two programs shielding four million people from deportation. Demonstrators gathered outside the court to voice their support of the programs. Twenty-six states have sued to stop the programs. The justices heard arguments in the case for about 90 minutes. A federal judge has set a trial date for a Cincinnati man accused of plotting to attack the U.S. Capitol. Christopher Cornell will stand trial on November 1st. The judge decided to move ahead with trial plans after testimony today showed that Cornell is competent to stand trial. Rescue teams have been frantically searching for survivors after an earthquake in Ecuador. A 7.8 magnitude quake struck on Saturday, killing 350 people. Thousands more were injured. The quake was centered along Ecuador's Pacific coast, but damage extended for 300 miles. From the Dakotas to Texas, storms have drenched parts of that region. Houston, Texas has been especially hard hit with 16 inches of rain coming down in just 24 hours. There have been more than 1,200 water rescues there, including one that unfolded on live television. A news crew helped a man to safety after his vehicle became trapped in floodwaters. Are you okay, sir? I'm okay. You're okay? Yeah, and I had no idea that it's going to go, go, go so deep. No idea. Well, the mayor of Houston urged people to stay inside their homes. A flash flood watch remains in effect for the city until tomorrow morning. The 120th annual Boston Marathon taking place today. It's the third year for the marathon since a bombing near the finish line killed three people and injured hundreds of more. Nearly 30,000 runners, some from Kentucky, taking part in the race today. And there was extra security to keep the runners and the spectators safe. I had to go through security again, check my purse. I don't think people are staying away, to be honest with you. I don't think they are. There's no reason to. Atse Besa of Ethiopia won the women's race with her fellow countryman Lemmy Bersnasnu Haley winning the men's race. It's been one year since a UK journalism student was shot and killed during a robbery. We'll show you how his classmates remembered him today on WKYT News at 530. How genetic testing is helping tailor treatments for women with early stage breast cancer. And sunscreen keeps you from getting burned, but does it really prevent cancer? The findings of a first of its kind study next. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 1045 The Cat. Hi, Shane Huffman with Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt, where today you can lease a brand new 2016 Honda CRV for just $2.59 a month. Plus, we're going to back all our deals with our 110% price protection guarantee. That's Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt. Huffman has it. Shouldn't you have a checking account that makes your life easier? Introducing Easy Checking from Republic Bank. Relax with no minimum balance or monthly maintenance fee. Easily send money through our app with mobile pop money. 
Remembering your password is as easy as scanning your fingerprint or eye using iPrint ID. And for easy access to your money, you can use 85,000 surcharge free ATMs worldwide. Easy checking for your hard earned money. We're Republic Bank, and it's just easier here. At Frankfurt Toyota, we have new 2016 Camrys, up to 3,900 off MSRP or 0% financing for 60 months. New 2016 Corollas and RAV4s, up to 2,200 off MSRP or 0% financing for 60 months. And we'll double your no-cost maintenance to four years or 50,000 miles. Frankfurt Toyota, Google rated 4.9 out of 5 stars. Frankfurt Toyota, and online at frankfurttoyota.com. Hurt in a car accident? Your pain and suffering might be worth more than you think. Car repairs, medical bills, gone. We make it easy. I made that call. Let's get started. 800-800-4600. Who you gonna call? Uh-oh. What if it's my time? How would Julie and the kids get by? Would they be able to stay in the house? And why don't I have life insurance? It's not too late to get life insurance. Don't wait till it is. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent. Kentucky Farm Bureau. Big on commitment. We've got an online auto approval hornswoggle. Oh, I hate the swogglers. <laughs> They said I was approved online. Uh-oh, I smell a butt coming. Yeah, a big butt. But I wasn't really approved. OnlyDriveTime.com gives you a real online approval in two minutes. No butts. Because butts stink. Butts do stink. Um, kind of a double meaning. <laughs> what do you mean, huh? Save yourself. Get a real online approval first. Go to DriveTime.com. Lextran has expanded weekend service to Keeneland. Convenient, safe, and drop off right up front without having to worry about parking. Visit Lextran.com slash Keeneland or call 253-INFO. Hi, Shane Huffman with Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt, where today you can lease a brand new 2016 Honda CRV for just $2.59 a month. Plus, we're going to back all our deals with our 110% price protection guarantee. That's Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt. Huffman has it. It is time now for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. A genetic test is helping reduce the need for chemotherapy in some breast cancer patients. Terry Okita shows us what the test looks at and how it's helping tailor treatments. Diane Haditsian is a two-time early stage breast cancer survivor. She had chemotherapy in 2002 after she was first diagnosed. You have exhaustion um, that isn't helped by sleep. And uh, you get uh, cognitive impairment. You're not thinking clearly. Ten years later, doctors found a different type of breast cancer. I really didn't want to go through chemotherapy again. Doctors recommended the MAMMAPRINT test, which analyzes 70 genes. A new study looked at more than 3,000 breast cancer patients. It found many early stage patients could avoid chemotherapy after surgery. Women with biologically low risk tumors, even if they're clinically high risk, don't benefit from chemotherapy. Until recently, a large tumor or cancer cells in the lymph nodes automatically meant chemotherapy. If you are low risk, you have just as good an outcome at five years if you don't have chemotherapy compared to those who do get chemotherapy. Diane's score on the test was ultra low, so she had a lumpectomy and radiation, no chemo. I was just so relieved. Diane now works to educate other women about the disease. She's currently cancer free. Terry Okita, CBS News, Los Angeles. It's already been proven sunscreen can lower your risk of getting a sunburn. Now, researchers have found it protects your skin from cancer as well. Researchers have completed the first test of a sunscreen's ability to protect against melanoma. They found without sunscreen, tumors develop faster and more often. They also found the likelihood of melanoma jumped 80% even without a sunburn. Now we have a mechanism to say, yes, this sunscreen can protect against melanoma. And we hope that we can now develop better sunscreens. 
All of the sunscreens tested in the study were SPF 30. Now, here's what's coming up for you at 530.